हेलो हेलो गाइस व्हाट्स अप वेलकम टू अनदर वीक ऑफ अरीना किंग्स वेयर आई गो प्ले अकेशनल गुड चेस गेट फ्लैग कर्स माय ओपोनेंट्स एंड समटाइम्स आई जस्ट प्ले बैड चेस एंड लूज ऑन द गेम सो दिस हैज बीन अ थीम ऑफ द अरीना किंग्स फॉर द लास्ट सो मेनी वीक्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीक ऑफ वॉचिंग दैट विद मी गुड टू सी यू ऑल बैक हियर गुड टू बी बैक गुड टू uh i mean all the pleasantries etc 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 we have only uh, four minutes for the kick off so we'll quickly make some announcements before uh, the start of the arena kings before the start of the stream and first of all there is a discord uh, there is an event going on my discord called uh, the cafe is got talent cafe because my discord is known as streamers cafe and the name got its meaning because when i started i mean the name uh got formed because when i started uh, streaming for the first time i envisioned it as an online cafe where you know people can just come in and uh, chat things have changed and now i've become uh, a bigger streamer now i don't uh, let you know uh, people with less than 10k subs join my stream and stuff but that's how it had started that was the beginning and now i don't even let rakesh buy on my streams but yeah that's how it started and the event is going on and uh, before we begin a quick uh, a quick show of the trailer where is where is it seen oh uh, yeah no not this one where is that where did i put that scene time pressure is uh, not a good thing yeah here it is oh it has gone all blank and here we go hey hasty beast the bullet it happened today This is tomorrow. This is day after tomorrow. Or uh, day after tomorrow, after tomorrow, day after tomorrow, after tomorrow, after tomorrow. Prize is worth rupees ten thousand and a chance to be on stream with me, which even Rakesh Bai doesn't get anymore. So to join this, uh, to join this, uh, you. how to first go to you can check out my community post on uh, youtube and uh, you have to first go to arena.gl which i'll just bring up on the screen right now and uh, sign up here you know uh, register your account sign up login slash sign up i hope uh, you can uh, yeah you should be able to see it it's full screen so sign up here um you see like a part of it on the screen oh the tournament is about to begin so we may have to come back and do this later and uh, you have to uh, register with your email id you will receive an email to log in after logging in you can uh, go to uh, arena.gl/bounties and here you can claim some free tokens which can be used later to uh, go to the event you have to go to uh, arena.gl/leagues/cafes/got-talent and uh, this is the event that we are going to have on uh, the discord you can see event one hasty beast picasso arena big brains chess played quick madly chess variants and spell beetles picasso arena it's it's named in honor of me because of my insane scribble skills and uh, finally this is where you can uh, uh see all these five events the link will be pasted by my loyal mods and uh, sorry yeah and uh, you can register in the ones that you are interested in and also make sure to register on uh, the discord and uh, report the discord i mean uh, make sure to communicate your discord ids to the discord mods 
now my game has begun so more on this later if you have any questions you can ask the mods on the chat and uh, here we go to the chess.com and uh, music 30 minute time outs for the first game of the flagger arena look at this check now what am i supposed to do so this is in the morning today and i already forgot it explains why i don't uh, uh, play chess they were just uh, bishop g7 i don't remember why are names opposite because opposites attract what i vaguely remember It's, looks about right yeah i changed my chess dot com profile picture so if my tournament goes horribly which is uh, generally how it goes then uh, we will uh, revisit how to this whole thing So back to this question. This was a scotch opening, uh, kind of wildish, pu wildish question. With knight c6, I am trying to attack with e5 pawn and exert pressure. Although at this point, yeah, okay, bishop f4, uh, rook e8. Next, I'll get this rook onto b8. Black has a perfectly fine position. Good position so far. My rating is so pathetically low on uh, chess.com. It's In my glory days, uh, my highest rating was thirty one hundred, which is uh, even higher than uh, the highest rating of Arjun Erigaisi. That act. I go c six and he goes a three. I wish I can do d five, but he just takes it. Maybe I can play some rook d eight. Now after a3, my knight doesn't have any, so it's uh, ill, uh, ill-conceived conception. We'll take this, this rook a1, rook e4, rook a6, rook in f4, and finally this pawn is pinned. So maybe it was not uh, such a terrible idea by me. Rook b1, I have bishop in a3, and. Uh, Otherwise, uh, yeah. We should into a1 and uh, look into a1 and look into e4. Yes, guys. Any question on the uh, cafe uh, thing? You can uh, feel free to ask the mods in the chat. Get rid of this nasty pawn. Rook into a1, rook into e4. Yeah, bishop g5. Ah, f6 was my idea, but uh, it doesn't uh, seem to be working anymore. But I think rook c8 should do. Because rook into a1, I will just take this. Rook into c4, rook into b4. I'll take all the pawns. Thank you so much, Shahid. And uh, yes, you can always ask. Cha cha. I missed this. I need to focus more on. The question on the board. Take and move it, and I need to get this rook on this file. So, despite a thirty-minute time on, we are equal on time, and the question is pretty decent actually. Okay, so this was his idea. He wants to get his knight onto c4. Fine. 
I don't mind giving up this pawn. I don't want to give up. That's sad. Oh, sorry. I don't want to give up either of these two. Fine gems. If I have one, I can give you the one check first. Now we start pushing. Oh, this I do check me. Yes, flag. That was a good win. I guess. 3C3, Punziani. Not, not often seen. No idea what uh, before I played us. Anywhere in remotely close to what is the correct move. Shahid Cafe is a Discord. Uh, Achha, Shahid Cafe is the. Okay. First, I was shocked. Wondering when uh, my Discord name was changed from Srinath Cafe to Shahid Cafe. Uh, I take this and play Queen of check. Ah, okay, just clean it. Clever, smart. Uh, maybe he didn't uh, need to be. F5 mix? Night Seeker. Here's Night Seeker. So, remains a corner. He didn't see this, but luckily he has this thing. So, now he's just better. He has a very, very nice position. Here's the pair of push-ups and the bomb. So this is going to be very tough to save. I feel like designing this push-up to be honest. And uh, get more wins. Yeah, I could have offered a draw too. But the same thing. But that's good for his signature. Ah, you get the initial thrust of it. Berserk, where is the Berserk button? I wish I could Berserk. Queen D7 is the other move to defend this pawn. Queen C is the other move. Knight F3 and... Uh, now this bishop comes to g6, which is the way the system works. And it's usually a pretty solid position for black. I wish I had some... Oh, maybe I do have knight before. But queen a4 check. Yeah, I first. Now I do have knight before, right? Knight into g6. Night before those night into G6 and 97 check uh, comes with check. Now I'm really good this. Luck can only uh, save you till a certain point, you know. After that, skill does play a role. One cannot get lucky indefinitely. Trading one more uh, heavy piece and uh, going into the endgame with a pair of bishops. Bishop b was a good thing. But okay, anyway he could take and play rook c1. 
now yeah. it no longer exists the option to play i can i can play it anyway just uh, displays in his night and now maybe trade so we get into a proper uh, pair of bishops push takes a4 bishop d3 if you play a4 i have all this bishop d3 so this is actually strategically more lesson for black because i have the light square bishop so whatever this bishop controls on the light squares um the opponent cannot uh, challenge now this just makes this bishop bad This is a typical operation designed to take the c file by force. I'll start with rook c6. If he plays b5, then I have this. And okay, he uh, yeah. Now we have the c file control, and e6 is securely protected. So the rook enters via the c file. C2 and uh, yeah, if we had gone with the other rook, I had bishop d3. Now maybe I'll just take this pawn. Yeah. How you transform a strategic advantage into a material advantage? And uh, now we win more material. This is what pressure does to people. They make mistakes. Okay, let's see if we can work up a streak. Maybe some Catalan. We haven't done that a lot um, in these blitz stuff. One reason is because I do I do prefer to play uh, Catalan much more uh, in a classical game where I get a full uh, license to exhibit its amazing strategic depth. By the way, there is a video uh, on Catalan which might be dropped, you know, sometime soon. So do watch out for that. Yeah, so it's it feels like it's just a pawn. If he takes on e5, then uh, I I think I'll just play bishop f4. Knight c5. Yeah, knight c5 was what I was anticipating. I think queen c4, queen d4. Queen d4 is uh, simple. E into d5, I just take back with the knight. And uh, knight d6 comes with a check, so there's no c6. Knight e6, I'll just go back queen d1. So the queen is protected. We have one pawn at the end of this. And uh, now uh, knight into e7 check is one option. I can just go knight e3, knight f5. It's it's a plethora of options, and I need to choose one. This is often uh, one of the tougher things to do in life, you know, when you have options and you have to choose one. Uh, I always found this uh, difficult to make a choice. How about you guys? So I keep this knight, and now I bring the queen into the game. He cannot take this pawn yet because then I'll just take this bishop, which I could have actually taken a couple of moves earlier. And uh, he wants to trade this bishop, understandably so. I can just take this pawn too. Yeah, I don't think my queen is getting trapped. So. Surgical strike. Quick entry, quick exit, and we win our second pawn. Which Raja, Raja or uh, Harshit Raja? Queen G4 with a potential bishop at six incoming, 
and uh, now finally this is defended so we also defend our pawn this bishop will come to e3 king goes to g1 yes i anticipated perfectly and you can lost potentially some rook d6 can come so this has been hanging for the last one move but it works even better so the reward for patience that was a quick and smooth win so it's been a good start and uh, i wonder if there's a change uh, in the uh, arena kings format because for the second win i got 3 points center it's important to occupy the center when we uh, get the opportunity and uh, occupying the center it gives us more space more space is equal to more control more control is equal to more options on the chessboard so bishop g4 c4 c6 maintaining the center queen d7 and potentially bishop h3 or bishop f3 incoming uh, so the attack is building up this is a bit of an annoying counter play i think i'll just uh, defend it first get this knight to yeah this is annoying i have to trade off my good bishop if only i had uh, one more tempo chess is strategy by one tempo it would still be nice if i can get this knight on to yeah if he sees the and runs it rook c1 i'll go rook c8 and uh, it's 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 just an equal position i guess no threats short castle i want to get knight g4 next yeah i think knight g4 should be okay because rook c1 i have rook into f2 yeah so he prevents it with bishop e1 and here i think i can just go rook c7 and rook c8 depend on this all is well for now next potentially queen d6 i want to get in knight into d4 let's see if he uh, falls for it it's a bit obvious though because why else would i move my queen like this and now knight into b4 looks quite tempting can i do 94 anyway look into c7 look into c7 the queen a check so it doesn't work But if I take knight into b4, rook c7, rook c7, and he comes with queen e8 check, it should be okay, I guess. Okay, move first, think later. Yeah, queen e8. I want to go bishop f8, and uh, now queen f7 takes takes. A into b4, bishop into b4. This was my calculation, and I saw that I'm getting bishop e1, but here's this bishop h3. Okay. But Bishop H3 shouldn't worry us because the only way out for this knight is here. So Black's plan is to get this king. Yeah, this is what we must have planned. Knight F6. F into E4. I think I should be able to go knight into E4. And uh, here this is tempting. Should I take this or not? I can I can take this Wait, Should I play b5 or not I'll play b5 Oh my god what a drama queen Raja was already married, isn't it? Um, not entirely sure if what I'm doing is the way to go. And uh, it's not like I played fast earlier and the time advantage either. 
We need to attack these spawns. Knight ideally should be on F5. Nothing is happening in an ideal way. Yeah, I don't, I don't care about the spawn. We need to enter into his position. This is what we wanted. And now the spawn is unstoppable. I can even take this. I hear the sound of rain. Adiro is leading, by the way. Do you guys see it on... Uh, hang on. I can... Oh, damn, it went. I don't know when I'll see Adiro leading next. Did Ani do the comeback to serve? Who is Paddy 26 owner? Someone born in 26 September? I have a friend who was uh, born in 26 September. I usually don't remember to wish that person though. Which used to have me in trouble once upon a time until the uh, the expectation levels got adjusted according to the data. I don't know why I played Asics. I can go B5, Knight A5, Knight C4, but then uh, he gets A4, which might be a bit annoying. So I'll go Knight A5 directly and try to get Knight C4. So should I call him Ani Dude or Ani Dude? Ani Do Dude. The song's name is M I M. Uh, push the gas. Which I cannot hear by the way. I sacrifice my own pleasure of music so that you guys uh, get it. Uh, what if I take this first? Because rook into e3, I have bishop f4, and I don't, I don't mind uh, giving up this with a check. Because anyway, I'm getting bishop f4 with it. <gasps> no, 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 no! Don't remove that. Yeah. Anyway, I'm... and uh, now if I go h6, what does he achieve? The fact that I cannot play bishop g6 is that your achievement, my friend. I see his point. Um. So. Takes, takes, king h8 and now g4, yeah? But it looks very dangerous for him. Yeah, bishop d3, I can just go f5, f4 and uh, initiate chaos. Has something changed in the format of Arena Kings? Why am I facing all the uh, such low rated opens? Or is it that I'm just too incredibly strong and everyone's scared to play against me tonight. Yeah, this is a decent move. I can go bishop h2 check bishop g. But he's just attacking this so why not just defend this, yeah? This is how uh, some of the stronger people, they play blitz, you know. They, they, don't, they don't spend too much time trying to find the best move. They just play uh, decent, decent moves, you know without taking too much time and uh, we have to learn we just cannot keep repeating the same foolish uh, routines you know yeah knight f3 bishop g3 with potential ideas of bishop and f3 so we'll come rook e3 after which maybe i'll just go bishop f4 and i'll be like ha 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 you spent 10 seconds for this repetition. Yeah, rook e2, he comes under the spin. So e5 is one option, but I'll go rook f6 with the idea of rook f8. So my uh, aha ha now is that he cannot. Uh, okay, this is potential risk, my friend. Just bishop f7. He will play knight e5 and. Uh, yeah, now he'll play knight e5. And I think I'll just go g5 for him. 
so eventually my feeling is that uh, the weakness of his king will be uh, regretted by him and uh, in the future he will learn to protect his king better my own king has no danger by the way every uh, entry point is well secured so Uh, Vishakha is not a bad move at all. How can I trick him? He's he's not played bad at all. Typical uh, Indian player. So Queen C seven, I was thinking, uh, it would be nice to get this Queen onto here, but it's not so easy to achieve. Bishop F is a good move. Opening up stuff. Opening up the gateway to I don't know what. Yeah, so now my idea was queen d6. Let me just do a quick confirmation that it works. And uh, Queen H2 check wins the queen. So, okay, GG. Well, uh, valiant effort by my opponent, but uh, not enough for uh, good. Still continues to fight. He doesn't have a spirit. How am I winning uh, so many games today? I mean, how am I getting such nice, nice pairings? Do you guys think I uh, underrate myself a bit? Oh man, thank you so much. This is such a beautiful center. I don't know how how I can thank you. Maybe. Uh, I can uh, send you some cryptocurrency when it uh, crashes to zero, if it does. Who is this Catalan uh, Monet? Mikasa? Everything is hanging, so I haven't played this well actually. Because now he'll get rook d8 and uh, threaten nine d8. That is the sad part of the story. Super. We'll try to protect it like this. It won't work, but uh, let's try. Knight d5, bishop d5, bishop d5, knight d5. This is the kind of tricky chess that I have learned to play uh, from Hikaru. So takes knight b5. Bishop and h2 check knight into h2. Wins a piece. And uh, he does this so fast, he sees these things instantly. And uh, now I just uh, win this piece. After I win this piece, uh, knight d6, knight e4. Some knight e2 check is coming, so rook c1 will be suicidal, but knight d6 will save. Queen d3, rook d1. Okay, what does he have against this, these deadly ideas? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know who this hip hop that is. Uh, Upak Tamra. Please don't uh, unsubscribe.
I do hope to earn your forgiveness someday. You no, know, one way of winning quickly is by playing fast. Another way is to just play good chess. Adiban is hip hop Tamil, huh? Really? I know he's a Tamil. I didn't know that he had anything to do with hip hop. Thanks for the outpost. Ah, I remember Artem Sadowski. He made me really sad in the previous arena games. That was not a provocation of weakness. It was an admission of stupidity. Now he has nine to eight. PTSD. This guy gives me PTSD. It's definitely sad that I'm getting PTSD from an international match to Roma with people. They're generally not that strong. Do I think if uh, Fide can convert World Championship pieces into NFT? I think there's definite potential there. This is an interesting move from him. So king into f7, rook into e6, king into e6. At least I. It doesn't look pretty, but uh, we are surviving. Rook e1 check or yeah, rook e1 check. King f6. Capture, capture. Queen takes d5. Queen e6. Queen f3 check. I'll come king e7. Oh yes, do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Let's at least get past hundred. Bit embarrassing to have less than hundred likes on a stream. Yeah, now what should I do? Queen c5. I was not quite anticipating. I can play queen d6, uh, or just uh, he attacks both this and this. So as a good queen, we should uh, defend all our subjects. That is uh, that is how uh, the royals are uh, trained in uh, the Arthashastra. So now it's time to get a king uh, somehow to safety. But if he just goes queen c4, it's unpleasant for black because whichever move I make, it looks like I'm losing something. And uh, maybe queen c4 just rook d8. Is he thinking? Is he thinking of something flashy and flamboyant? Should I? Uh, should I try to flag him? Queen e6 with with repetition is a draw. No, I'll take the I'll take the draw because you know it's not a pretty position. Now we get the stronger players and a legend directly. Slav is so annoying, man. so solid. A4 a threat or no? Because A4 I do have bishop e3, so can I go e4 anyway? E4 he can take queen and e4, so maybe one prophylactic one. Also I want to be able to take back like this. But e4 raw, uh, this d4 one is too weak. Yeah, queen is sensible. Takes takes knight into e4, knight into e4, bishop into e4, and. Uh, it looks like it works, but uh, I fear the d5 pawn might be d4 pawn might be too weak in the long run. But uh, having said that, uh, 
I'm hardly a shining example of someone who makes the more sensible decisions. So why didn't I take this first? Because I didn't see it. Somehow it turns out that things have worked well. This is threatened. Bishop D5 is a threat. Attacking F7. And uh, that will force him to go rook f8. This pawn on d6 is a bit annoying, but it's not clear how. So, what if he just defends like this? Bishop d5, rook f8. Then he has everything defended. We go queen g4. Increase the pressure. f5 doesn't feel good to me. I just take this. Then uh, attack the c6, uh, sorry, d7 knight. Queen d5 check and bishop c6. Because my objective is to exert pressure on e5. He can go e4 actually. And not entirely sure how I'm going to respond after that. Because bishop. Yeah, I'll take this and play queen e6 and d7. This is the action plan. So it's pretty safe, pretty. Now I think I can take this and play rook and d5. It's one simple option. I can take rook and d5 directly as well. Nice and flashy, but uh, should we go for something flashy? Shouldn't we uh, prefer substance over uh, flashiness? Yeah. I also blown my time advantage, so let's prefer uh, substance only where it's possible. Rookie one, rookie eight is a potential threat. Queen into B3 is rookie eight. Now my idea was rookie one. Let us meet. Yeah, so queen b8 and uh, your rookie son was the idea. So, idea is to meet. If he takes on a1, then I go queen f7. This was my intention. And uh, force, force him to. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Rook in d7, rook in d7 is checkmate actually. So, it is checkmate. Yeah. He also saw it. So that was a nice win actually. Can I know why I should visit uh, Tata Steel? Feels off. Something feels off, but he's playing so confident. CKG chess. Queen if I check for it. His intention. Queen B4. Queen into d5, and queen comes from here. Bishop in d4, queen in d5, and uh, this is one uh, option. Yeah, and end it looks like we are getting into a equal position. Maybe knight d5 was not the uh, wisest. But what if I just go king f1 now? Knight in d5 check. Option in the future. Oh, what do you mean she has taken part in Spelling Bee? She's a Spelling Bee champion. She's like the Magnus Carlsen of Spelling Bee. She's like the Virat Kohli, the Novak Djokovic. And, uh, can 
can take this now. I can take this. Now I can take this. He has missed something for sure. So we do have options. Queen into B7 is a good option. I can go Queen A3. This looks nice to me. I'll uh, I'll just go this. Oh, I blended. I blended, mate. This was his point. Okay, cool. <sighs> GG. Good game. Ah, yeah, Kamsky is a bit uh, stupid for sure. Uh, I mean, I can I can totally expect that reaction from him. I mean, great chess player and all, but uh, that has no correlation towards other things. I mean, he he just doesn't uh, have that emotional stability, yeah. It's well known. So, and I've watched his streams, man. It's it's like a rant. Uh, it's like a rant of you know all the reasons on why he couldn't, uh, why he's unlucky, and why no one has helped him, and why he's entitled to all that help and all those things. It's a. It could be a good case study for. Uh, uh, psychologists. Okay, this was easy. was pretty so I have had a few good wins in the last few games but I haven't got this streak going and uh, why is my opponent giving me time on here? Alright, so he's just joined the tournament. He has only 5 points and seems to be off somewhere. So we have the Chigorin defense. And I don't quite remember what my uh, recommendation in my course is. But I'll, I'll, just, I'll just play some simple chess, aim for a decent setup. Casual, casual. Ultimately, this knight on c6 it's not uh, ideally placed. And uh, yeah, I can go queen a4. I can go. I, I like queen b3. Takes and this is attack. In general, this is a good pawn structure for white in uh, these d4 setups. And uh, now what do we do? It's C1. It's a decent move. Oh, I I blended this. I blended this. I shouldn't have looked at chat. But yeah, I mean, uh, people people uh, do get emotional on uh, such streams especially uh, when they play blitz and have their uh, hearts raising so h4 i'm trying to get my bishop onto h3 even though i blended i still have a nice strategic uh, edge here h5 bishop e5 these are the upcoming moves 
I can play CD Rook C8 and Bishop and F5. So this is one good option. Another option is potentially H5 H6. And uh, which one should we go for? I like H5 H6. Let's go for it. H6. Um, bishop to d6 or bishop to e5 or should I take cd I, I think I'll go for uh, bishop to d6 Because I, I want to keep this bishop, I'll probably follow this up with c5. I'm playing a bit unusually slow in this game, I need to focus a bit harder. So I want to keep this bishop on with uh, c5. And uh, otherwise, rook g1 check is the idea. I don't think my opponent is quite understanding my play here. Though. Rook g1 check. Where does it go? I take this. Potential threat of bishop g6, rook g6 check. I think he has to take rook d6, c d6, and uh, then at least I have at least I have a pawn, if not a lot more. And uh, if he doesn't, he's just lost. Yeah, he had to do this. I take back, and here d7 is good. But uh, this is just simple. Yeah, takes and. Uh, then I take rook in h6 and uh, he can play then I play rook h8 check queen h7 check and uh, queen h4 check yeah. queen h7 I think I can remove queen h4 yeah. good thing that I didn't uh, the queen is check is simple now, now I'll show you how not to be greedy even even when you have a rook in front of you okay my opponent didn't really leave me much chances left offering a screen up like that okay so good strategy trans even bad tactics sometimes and now he's just uh, losing time this is uh, pretty uh, immature from him Wasting his time, wasting my time, wasting uh, the chat's time. Uh, good. They will, uh, they will make the speeches clashes uh, in such a way that uh, it doesn't clash with the player's commitments. So you don't have to worry about that. I can't play b6 here, I can't play b5. going duda style at least i can do this in arena kings people like prag they do it in the champion chess too and uh, prag gukesh the cream of her uh, some of the cream of her uh, amazing indian chess I like g5, g4 in general. Knight d5, queen into c4. And uh, I can also just play knight to a5. Knight into a7, bishop d7. This is my master plan. And uh, to trap his knight. So, yeah, he goes knight to c3. Here I can play bishop to d7, bishop to d7, bishop to a6 and uh, I can also just a scalp shot with the idea to block his uh... yeah this is a danger that I didn't quite anticipate well I guess it's 
So, we shall erase this. Potential address of 9b3. Ah, queen a4 I blundered. Queen a4 and I think I'm in trouble, but my offhand didn't see that. So. I can play knight b3 or I can just play c6 or c5. I guess I just go c6 for now. You know? Keep oh my god, I'm playing so slow. My opponent is clearly uh, a bit stronger than some of my previous opponents. He's playing faster. Speed is an important uh, indicator of skill, by the way. So c6. We need to target this pawn, the b2 pawn, and uh, this is not a pretty picture actually. So the truth is, I just don't feel this variation well. I need more practice on this before I uh, go and take on those monsters in, uh, in Kazakhstan, Nur Sultan, Rook b3. So when you, th there, is, there is a simple rule in Blitz, you either have to play bad, you can either play bad or you can play slow but you can't do both. So I stopped playing slow because I don't think I can help uh, that aspect. This is sus. C3 is what I'm thinking about. Yeah, I think C3 should work. At the least, it doesn't lose anything. That much confidence we can have. And uh, bishop into a6, rook into b2. Bishop c3, so bishop e2, queen e2, knight c3, b3, rook c3. Or I can just go rook c3. So, oh, there's this interim as well. Yeah? Queen c1, there's knight b3. So queen d3. Maybe he'll go queen e4. Did he see this though? Because he shouldn't be thinking if he has seen this. And yeah, Queen C1 is always wrong. Knight B3. What does he intend to Ship C3, Knight C1, Bishop B2. And then I just come back. Feels like he's missed something here. Clicks and come back. And uh, pretty useful handy advantage on time also. Come back. Yeah, we saw that. Okay. This was my point. This was my point. Next I pick. We should be A3. Okay, we come back. And take everything that he offers. Thank you. Okay. So the only thing we need to watch out is that we don't lose on time or something. Because otherwise, we just toast here. As AD would say. Okay, this pawn is queening and uh, this knight is also lost. Still plays on the dog is on. I'll just take this pawn, just in case. Now we need to check it. Cool. And that was one with a streak. So, so far, uh, so good. Good going. Oh, I, do, I, I wasn't even watching what moves I was making. I'm not sure that uh, 
I wanted to play this mainline uh, Rui Lopez, you know. Feels a bit too solid. But I guess the position that I've got on uh, the board, I shouldn't really be complaining. This is classic by the way. So when we have this position, if I can take f 4 and get this d5 tempo, then uh, I have a good center as black. I mean, I'm talking about, when I say I, I mean black. So take this, bishop c5 and the queen g5 I think. Takes, takes, queen g5. At the least I think I should win this pawn on e5 if not more. So c4 whenever it comes, uh, c6, bishop e6 with the uh, ideas of knight c4. In the air, and, uh, yeah. In general, also I think Knight C4 is uh, a good move. So how will he prevent this? Let's say he tries to defend well. Yeah, let's say he defends. Okay, so he goes Bishop B3, and uh, what was our intention here? I kind of stopped thinking about chess for a few seconds there, which uh, I shouldn't have. But idea is to just go c5 and take this pawn. Simple chess. And uh, that, ah, he wants an ID d4. Interesting. But okay, c5, knight into e4. And then he's like, okay, I'm threatening uh, c5 also. So cd, knight into g5. D into e3, knight into e6, and at the end, I think I have rook into f2. So it works. And uh, then I'll. No, he goes rook e1 now. I go rook e8, I take this pawn so the e3 pawn doesn't fall. And uh, till the end, this amazing knight on b6 ensures that the d5 pawn stays, which is like uh, a like, really important pawn. Holding together the position. Oh, this one I didn't see. So if e5 is 9 d3, I should go rook f5, rook into e3. This is uh, a bit unfortunate. But I think I'll, I'll just go for uh, rook f5, like you know, go for the spawn up position, simplify things, like we were taught to do in max, just comes king d3 next move. So king f3 is also an option. Let's see who. Yeah, this was kind of my intention, and uh, I thought I'd, at the least I have a slightly better position. He will go rookie to now, and uh, I I I thought I should be at least slightly better here. But uh, I played a bit slower than I should have. That was uh, uh, okay. Not sure if I should have allowed this. Okay, go back in. Get this king all the way up there. What am I going to do with the rook d7? I don't know. But he didn't play it, so it will never know. Oh, 
I'm gonna get this pawn on to b5, so I'm gonna take this, our pawns are advanced. This advanced the planning. Yeah, in the end, the, our pawns will be a bit more advanced. Kind of strange for me to put the thing there. Yeah, this is running for me. He didn't really play this ending well at all. Yeah, he will try this. Oh, he did not. Good. Good going. I'm on 35 and Hikaru is on 37, so not bad. And Mr. Sado scared me. This time we'll try to make him sad. But only try. Can't promise such things. I have never been a big expert in making other people sad, but don't I have knight g5 now? Did you see this? And uh, I could have also taken knight into e5, which was probably better. <laughs> it was such a terrible dream. If it would have gone ahead. Thankfully it did not. Bishop into g5 check is a threat. I also want uh, bishop e3 and bishop into a7 in general. So the question is how we will try to trap a bishop here. Yeah? He will need 3 moves. Knight d7, knight, this knight wherever. And uh, by that point what we need to do is get uh, rook c1 and knight d5 check. This is our aim. So knight d7, rook c1. And uh, next move knight d5 check. He can go knight b6 or he can go he can move this knight. Both cases we will go knight d5 check. This is the game plan. So the point is when this pawn reaches d5, it also attacks d7 with tempo after d6. But what if he takes bishop into c4? Then we start with b3 and then we attack the c6 pawn. So b3 first, then move the knight and uh, attack c6 this is uh, such genius play by me knight f6 knight to d5 check was oh this doesn't work knight d5 c d5 bishop d5 yes so why was he thinking for such a long time making me feel like i had a good plan deceiving me What should I do now? I can take bishop c6 and uh, come back. That's always an option. b4 means that we should be b4. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll just go knight b5 check. You know, I want to get this bishop out. Uh, I don't, but I want to give up the bishop, not, I mean, I want to give up the knight, not the bishop. I want to keep my bishop. I took 51 seconds for that move. Wow. Very bad idea in this 3 plus 0 point. He has to take cd5, yeah. And uh, now my question is, should I go bishop e3 check or bishop to c6? We just start with bishop c6. Threat is better than threat is greater than execution. That's what they said in more than times. Because your opponent is always wondering if you will execute or won't. Will he won't he? Will he won't he? Like how our uh, government is doing with the crypto bill. It creates that FUD, which I learned today means fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Um, so, this looks a bit uh, worrisome for him and uh, no harm ever came from a check. So, we 
have our pawns advanced like Demogus Dragons. This should be a big big advantage for white. Either after rooking, yeah, I think rooking to see it is the simplest way to. Castle is legal now. Rook c1 check. Bishop f4 is nice, but he has knight d5. So start with rook c6. The idea of a6 check. And uh, here rook d6 here is this king c7. A6 check. Shift to A5. Direct with A6. Rook A6. Rook A8 is checkmate now. Shift C3. Knight into C3. Rook into F6. Knight into check. In F1. And now we start collecting the bonds. Playing fast, this uh, still in it. But, uh, does not have the cushion. Oh, he anticipated that. He's playing really fast. Sadowski, take take that. For all the times you made me sad in my life, take that. C four, C five. I I don't know why I'm in C five. C three, A five. D6, yeah, I, I should have probably got D6 first and Bishop E6. But uh, this question is also pretty decent. I am feeling incredibly cold. I'm gonna switch off the AC for some time. Chennai becomes so unpredictable during this northeast monsoon. And uh, during the distraction, it feels like my opponent might have made some inroads into the question. Not exactly what I wanted for. So, this is attack. I can go queen c7, dean to e4, bishop c4. This was my idea. But yeah, knight b5 is a good move. Takes, 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 takes. And then finally, when he goes rook b2, I just get d5. Um, yeah, I guess. I guess d5 should do. It's a not a nice question though for me. Struggling a bit here. Yeah. But uh, hanging on. Like uh, Aronian did in the Tata Steel Master. A bit of a ridiculous uh, analogy. But uh, let's see. It's okay to be ridiculous in your own skin. If you can't be ridiculous in your own stream, then where will you be? And, uh, this potentially gives me some counter play. Although I'm not sure if I should have hurried with it. But in uh, 3 plus 0, it's I think acceptable goal. Hurry and uh, it's such a terrible strategic question. Man. I don't like to have bad questions like this in general. Even uh, even if it gives me that potential to play for flag, I wanted to have rook a1, but that's not an option. I may need to go rook f6. I need to I need to take it long. I need to try and uh, 
not get too depressed about the position but just try and uh, survive easier said than done because uh, in such situations oh this is what he was playing for saw it just a moment too late now is going to come queen e3 I need to somehow, somehow try and uh, survive. Any three looks ridiculously strong. Let's uh, knight sees it. There is queen f four. So how can we? How can I think queen sees it is the only move that's kind of holding things together. C six. Yeah. Between ninety four, he just goes for a short check. Server and after him, server. But how to server? Well, uh, just use your grandmaster skills. Grandmaster skills no help in such a pathetic position. Protecting the queen and the bishop, and keeping everything safe. So now, queen h4 check. Yeah, so this queen e3. Just wait. You try. You try to win. I won't give you anything easy. Just holding. Holding steady. Okay, forcing me to trade more. Mm. Okay. Um, can play f four. And uh, let's try to trade queens off here. Basically. Look at what he wants and try to prevent it. That should be the strategy. Burn his time. And he wants to take this. Okay. He will trade everything off now. This is a very easy win for what? Very very easy win. Ah, he must take me first. to 2535 untitled player he was number 250 and this broke my streak how depressing then go game to go I'm in a bit of tilt actually. In a bit of tilt. Also, a bit of tiredness with that. This rook should be on a6, pawn should be on b6. That's a strategic setup against the Benko Gambit. It's a point of knowing so much if you can't execute it. Then isn't it the same as not knowing it? Okay, at least I get this. I don't know what he was trying to do with this knight dance. But at the end of it, it looks like I'm a pawn up to boot. And, uh, 
Yeah, night three four, night three six. So is what I'd seen. Everything is guarded. This knight comes on to c three. Mm. What does he want? He just wants to take this pawn so badly. If he's so greedy, then why did he give it up in the first place? I didn't see this at first, but in the end, I do have this. The only move that doesn't lose the pawn. Next, I come knight c three, knight b four, and. Uh, Mm. Mhm. Mm okay. I don't see how I can you know, keep this knight because then he just takes on a5. So look into b7. Now a4. Look c4. Does look a7. Yeah, this is what I was hoping for. Now please tell me I have rook b1, rook c6, rook b6. Please, please tell me he doesn't have any lucky escape because it would be such a shame if he does. Rook b1 check. I can start with rook c8. I can start with, but he does have this move queen c5, and rook b1 he can go rook c1. So this throws a yeah. Now if I go rook b6, queen c5, rook c6, queen c6, and a3, and then uh, that should be a winning advantage. Can I also start with rook c8? No, then he just takes queen d4. Start with rook b6. And uh, here I can't play rook c8 because he's attacking this, so he takes this. He's under pin, so I have that one extra tempo. He has to go rook c1. And then finally, I'll have f5. Let's start with f5. He cannot prevent this anyway. Let's get the king out. It's just there in time. Oh man, look at how fast he is played. He's played bad but fast. Okay, I'll just come back. For one minute. A2 here is annoying move king d3. No, I'll just take a draw here because I don't have time. I would have got flagged if I hadn't made that draw. 41 minutes to go. Let's get this one in the back quickly. I judge people so much by rating points. Does it make me a rapist? All chess players do that. We discriminate by rating all the time. But Anish recently told me that he wouldn't uh, have spoken to me if he had known my rating in the first place. And uh, that he thought I was the other Narayanan. And that's why he became friends with me. And he says such mean things. Yeah, here my intention was knight before, just to take this pawn, which looks a bit, uh, I mean, what do you say, which looks a bit necessarily or uh, which looks a bit, I mean, the word in Tamil is alpha, but uh, you have to be a materialist in chess. It takes knight c6, rook into b2 is interesting, knight into d8. Uh, and now he takes rook into d2, rook into d2 and c3. The c3 interim is very important. That makes the variation work. And uh, b into c4. 
I don't have uh, No, I think I will need to take Duke into C4. But yeah, he was too lazy to calculate. And I think I get this with check, so let's go for it. And we have one upon for all the pain that we had to undertake. And uh, just gaining a tempo on the way. Finally, uh, d6 pawns super vulnerable takes this we'll take ab and then i'll just move this rook just so that i don't get into this thing yeah takes with the rook so b3 protecting these things now there's no danger of pin not a bad move but i think if i just take this i go into a strategically better position Oh, I blended. I blended. Now I have to go to flag. Flag swell. I just saw that uh, moment too late. I got a bit complacent there. Again, uh, thanks to my opponent's rating. This doesn't look good. Takes. I need to take this pawn. This is important. More important than this pawn. Ultimately, we need to have his. Uh... Ah, this is clever actually. This is good, good, good stuff from him. How is he so low rated? It's it's still it's still not easy for the black to win this because he has uh, so few pawns. And uh, we're trading one more pawn with this. I was hoping to, but uh, not so easy. Finally, this is a wrong color pawn. Wow, shown technique. Okay, let me just wait. Now I start pushing this. Not sure he showed the. Such a good technique there. Pressure of having to make good moves with less time. Which happens uh, against Hikaru for me all the time. Look how I've uh, isolated this bishop. And uh, now these two pawns they win by themselves. This is Grandmaster technique. There's also a good way to put pressure on people uh, when uh, they are uh, winning but they don't have uh, the confidence. Okay, I need to get back the focus. I have lost a bit of it. No doubt uh, influenced by some of my beautiful effortless victories the plan here for black is very very simple bishop e6 and uh, there's some b5 somewhere but i don't remember where exactly a5 a4 b5 or what is it yeah h6 I, i'll just go g6 so i'm not particularly worried about this pawn advancing here Here is what is I guess. Rook B8, I want to go C5. 
knight h4 yes. and then if he goes queen c2 i have bishop b3 okay so he wants to get g4 g5 interesting how shall we counter this by uh, trying to hit the v4 A bit annoying, but uh, ah yeah, we'll get knight of one. Not a bright idea, by the way. Now he gets g4, g5. I'll repeat once and see. Let's see what he says. Okay, just for uh, curiosity purpose. I don't know why I'm doing this. I can just go bishop d5, bishop d4. The objective is to basically waste his time, make him think whether he wants to repeat or play on. But uh, what if he actually repeats? Yeah, uh, this was the idea to get this bishop on d4. This was better in the first place actually. I should have never gone for the repetition. I did so out of uh, certain kind of stupidity that. Uh, comes in uh, human brains at 1 a.m. but finally all is well because I'm in this piece and uh, my play was so pathetic that even he was confused he was like what is he trying is he trying some genius thing uh, actual answer was no it was just uh, stupidity but uh, it helps being a grandmaster sometimes and being able to bluff and uh, now I have to just uh, prevent mate but uh, this is the optimal way g5 or g6 g5 looks a bit more uh, on the flash e side and uh, if we don't do such things now then when will we ever do it look into h7 king into h7 there's nothing to worry everything under control ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls and if he takes f into g6 what am i intending just h into g6 okay yeah amazing yeah look like people people would have actually thought pre-stream that grandmasters have these things worked out in advance but look at this i'm looking at it at the last possible moment so he doesn't have an infiltration point on h7 this is my uh, trump card but uh, how do i uh, use the time to create threats against his king because then his queen joins the attack like rook h8 and uh, so one simple option is to go rook e2 and then king f7 king e6 but it all feels a bit unnecessarily uh, risky so how shall we uh, minimize the risk Let's start running right away, yeah? I mean, there's no shame in uh, running away from danger. It's it's only shame if the danger catches up with us. Possible shame. Making way for king. Not that the king is naughty or something, but... Uh, yeah, I think here the king will be... Totally yeah. safe. Let's let's trade the queens off so that our uh, valuable cognitive function and attention is not wasted on endless calculations. And the cat line again. Six what did I see? This is something I played recently against uh, the Iranian Grandmaster. I don't know how it goes after this. Takes and c4. It feels like a slight, slight, slight uh, edge for that. But maybe it's not much because he does have this uh, pair of bishops to protect this pawn. But now I have to 
release some of the pressure on his palm. Night Gifu is tempting, he has to go back. Then no, I don't have a great follow up, but uh, feels nice to just be able to scare him for one more in any case. Yeah, yeah. But maybe he just takes this. Yeah, so it would be uh, ideal if I can get my rook onto the. Oh, blender, 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 blender. Should be it doesn't see it. Finally, this bishop is squareless. And uh, I'll take the pawn like this someday in the future, or at least I hope to. He's playing fast, which annoys me because uh, these people who play so quickly without actually uh, calculating the lines. Uh, maybe it's just jealousy from my part. It does annoy me a bit. Okay, we have the A5. Maybe I spoke one second uh, sooner than I should have. But this feels like such an advantage. This feels like it should uh, drop off the spawn. LP duo, blue spawns drop off. You get a5, but uh, in the end, uh, this rook is kind of like uh, in a sad situation. Creating this path for my rook. Just to ensure that he doesn't have any A4 related nonsense. You catch one, look at six of the idea. Yeah, I thought he would do this and give up this point. The counterplay for the idea that I created myself. Now he starts doing this annoying uh, 3 minutes stuff. Yeah, instead of complaining, I need to focus. Giving back the pawn. Preference to keep things under control. Doesn't do much for my position, but I should be careful not to fall into this. It'd be so 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 painful. Just he's just uh, wasting a move. I don't know why I'm keeping the rook, but it just feels nicer. Easier to find out the edge. Kind of waiting for that. Time, 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 time. 
Oh! I could have taken that night. <sighs> typical, typical Arena Kings game. Yeah, that guy is a total flagger. Fell right into Need a strong finish now. Let's take it one game at a time. I think you should have allowed this. That's not really good. Maybe I sh also should have allowed this. Should have been more careful though. Okay, I'm threatening Queen Caesar. Maybe Knight of 4 is not a bad move for him. Right? This plays Knight G. Huh? That seems a bit optimistic from him to sacrifice a piece. But yeah, it was it was intentional from him, so at least credit for that. He's leveraging everything on the If I can get this knight to G4, it's game over. Not so easy to execute. Him. Let's try it. Save a tempo on the roof. Where is he trying to hit uh, a7? 9g6 knight h4 then there is no threat. This is argument. 9g6 anyway he can take rook in d6 first. So just come back for safety purpose. So I missed that after queen into a7 my I can't take queen into c6. So that was uh, not uh, ideal. And once he gets queen into a7, it can get a bit annoying. But he goes here and I'll just remove this pawn just in case, just to be safe. Protected this and now now this should be completely better for black. Half my uh, attention is on the standings. I G six and bishop to f five, queen to e five. He's defending the. Uh, Annoyingly well. Just go for try and go for the finish. Come out me. Because I can't really play this slowly and hope to. 
get some money now in the things. I'm going to catch four for the pick. He's also playing the fast turn. I'm playing so slow. to get quick meat here and get this done. Why is he still playing? I gained 2 points, fell on 2 in ranking, but that's okay. Streak is more important. Come on, let's try and... He's actually not a bad opponent, so... Let's play with uh, due respect. I think I lost an instant the last time. Who can do to Queen and D2. It's the same guy. No idea how I'm planning to try to run from this position. This is losing me some chances. 92 is not a great thing. I'm not going to play against guys who are not really playing for qualification because they start playing so slow. But sure, I'll just come back. Knight of 4 is a good move. This time, I think he'll learn his lesson and take it. Also, Bishop D5 is tempting. G5 takes, takes. King F2, there is F6. This pawn is lost by force. With G4 takes everything. We'll just come here. G4 takes everything and then finally I get my own. Let's take the king close. Takes and go. This I'm not sure from him. B4, bishop e4, b3, bishop e2, b7, b2, bishop e4, there's bishop g6. b2, 
Dua. D6. And then this Bishop E6. I cannot move his Bishop. And uh, if his King goes anywhere, I will put this pawn on. H3. C6 or is always B6. Please be a gentleman and resign my friend. I have only 14 minutes. 13 minutes. Yeah, thanks. 50, 50 up. Maybe I should show my mouse. Ah, this guy actually defeated me earlier. Let's be careful against mouse lift. Read the question that I have. Lost it and put it on the reason. I just need to numb the pain for a minute. I just want to run away or be patient. I don't know what else to say now. I just saw this Spanish players are actually pretty decent at index, by the way. Not sure if he had seen this. Rise up from the ashes, wings on my this back, seems to be like a matchstick. We ain't coming back, I swear. Just let go and see what happens. Gotta let go to see the magic. I think I should have taken it tonight. But this should also work for me. It depends. Queen a5 had seen queen d4, but if he doesn't play queen a5, like e5, e4, then uh, he was getting some good pawn to Now there's knight d7, rook c1. Finally, I, I emerge with an extra pawn. Knight d7, rook c1, now rook b8. Knight into b4, e5, queen c3. This should be the continuation. Exchanging, trading the queens is, uh, I think, more useful for white here. This pawn comes directly all the way to a6. I, need, I would ideally like some time to have a 3 yeah, bishop 8, e3, rook b8, I have rook a4. So now, not, not intending this for long term. So now it works. I need to get knight c2 and knight d4 next. This, this is not really a threat. This king g2. Potential idea B5 takes takes, but I need to win. B5 takes takes and this bishop C6. Knight into A7, bishop into A4, C6. And uh, after C7, it uh, wins by force. Ah, this is the idea. Oh, clever, clever, clever. Very clever. How do I get out of this? UK1 and UG1. So clever from him. Just not in time to see my face. 
Is this the only way to try something? I could have done that whole thing a bit faster though. Very, very, uh, that was a brilliant uh, counter idea by him. And uh, possibly with this, I go out of the knockout because uh, till that point, like I would have been on 54 points, that would have given me very good chances. But now this misses up my chances by a big, big way. Also breaks the streak. Forcing him to part with his bishops, so we have a pair of bishops. Not sure how favorable the whole thing is, though. I think he fell for something, but must be able to defend. Queen b5, rook b1, queen c5, bishop e3, queen uh, I'm kind of glad you didn't pick up. I yeah, queen b6, also bishop e3. Point. Knight c4, I mean, what's his intention? I've been thinking about you. Some people just want to watch the world burn. Knight c5 with b1. Bishop b5. He can play this. I think of you every day. I hope and I wish that you're doing okay. And then he's going to take on uh, e3. He just wants to take knight into e3. Get his points now. Not sure if he has full compensation. Rook e2, rook d2. I think I can take this. Queen now uh, f5. The idea of you listening to this. The thought of you on the other side of the line. This looks lost to him. I can't hang up. I don't want this to end. No, I can't. I don't know if you miss me too. Please, please, please resign. Why are we still playing this? Why are we still playing this for this useless premium tricks? 52 points still low. doesn't quite Should I go for a draw or try to win this? Even if things never go back to what we were, what we 
what I became so used to, what I thought would be forever. He's not playing for a draw by the looks of it. Not, not, not quite intentional though. I'm spending more time than I, than I should be. Don't really have time to play a full game though. Can take queen c7. E5, he takes Dean to E5. And uh, can just go to D5 too. But yeah, no time to play a full game, and uh, I don't quite have the question to. For a win, either. just see what happens here. Nothing really happens. Yeah, he takes this. Oh man, I'm playing this so slow. Just got immersed in the game. Completely forgot about the arena points. I, I did offer a draw once. Um, I could have drawn the second time. But he wants to defeat me. Wow, yeah, it. Come on, make 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 20 moves. Oh man, bro. why is this guy thinking for first move? Okay, that was a lucky then. Wow, you can actually make draws like this. Oh my god, if only draws have a streak. Okay, the arena is over. Arena is over. Do I get in? Do I get in by any chance? I'm on uh, the 23rd place. And... Uh, with 59 points. Not bad actually. Below Anidudu. Um, who is at 19. 
and uh, yeah i think it's worth waiting just a little bit hikaru himself scored only uh, 71 points usually he finishes at the top adarsh 0369 is the one who is in so how much time should i uh, wait for before uh, we know for sure about the knockouts this was actually a good tournament though ha uh, good keep and check champ 2005 is at 36 jobawa on 27th jigalko on 42nd how how is he so low such a strong player the how are the games in general so let's just oh no wait. why am i analyzing this last games can look at this look at this overall it feels like i played uh, really well actually good key flight those are better how come you are here i thought you only hung out in ad's discord server uh ad streams I wasn't quite expecting to see you here what a pleasant surprise did you by mistake uh go to the wrong address every game i i scored like 91 this was 76 74 just as i said that 79 87 81.6 90.8 89.1 86.4 96 point 8 82.8 83.1 87.9 81 let's see uh, how much i got in uh, the kamski game yeah to see just to see if his rant was justified uh on the championship it's 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 fun actually i like arena kings format a lot i like it more than uh, the title tuesday thank you guys thank you thank you thank you so much and uh, I wanted to get into this for a long time. Who is Rahul Shah? Rushil Shah. Who is Rushil Shah? Why is uh, Kamski game? Um, Tiger. Yeah, ninety-four point one. Of course, he checked it. Yeah. So uh, I'll I'll just take it as a compliment. And to be honest, I've I've been annoyed by Kamski for a while now. So that was what came out, and uh, good, good, good to be able to beat him like this. Thank you guys, thank you, but too early to celebrate my first knockout. So first of all, how much time do I have to wait for? I feel exhausted, man. My eyes are burning. I have a class in the morning tomorrow, and. Uh, Simon MTL do i have to join some zoom or something well then uh, okay so I, i need to join zoom just one camera right So I should be able to join uh, the Zoom with my uh, other camera. And uh, I guess I need to start my video here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Cool. That's done. And uh, do I need to do anything else? I guess they will tell me in the chat. So who is my opponent? Rushil Shah. How how strong is he? Do I uh, need to worry about my opponent, guys? Okay, I contact my people. Okay, thank you. Oh, I need to. The camera is okay here. Show a second camera. Who is asking? Uh, Emilio. Um, this is going to be. 
Emilio, okay. yes, it's good. Thank you. Yeah. It's gonna be a diamond up, you are okay, thank you. Srinath? Uh yeah, uh, let me let me just connect my second camera. Oh, okay. I... Thank you. Kanero is fine, thank you. Okay. Uh, please give me a moment. Sure. Julio, can you make it a little bit closer? It's kind of very far. Okay. Um, yeah, thank you. Wait a minute. Says so I'm visible. Yes, Sundra, you can just fix it like that. Yeah. Okay, it's better, Julio. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Ed Edwin is fine, thank you. Is everything okay on my camera? Muhammad. Uh... <laughs> no, no, it's fine, it's fine. Can, can you take it a little bit? Uh, the angle is bad. We cannot see your laptop. Well, yeah, a little bit more. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, I think it's good. You don't need to bring. Don't need to bring those those blues for the. Oh, sorry. Sorry, can't you just feel? Okay. Ahorita muchas Jem Khan, can you hear me? How are you doing on the setup? Um, does this work on my uh, other? I I can't see my video on my phone. Uh, Srinath, do you have did you, do you have a phone that you're connecting with? Uh yeah, I thought I thought I was connected with. Let me. Oh, there you are. Okay, now you're yeah. good. Now you're in. And Jim Khan looks good. Thank you. Or not anymore. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Srinath. You can, you can see my screen, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that's good for now. Cool. Uh, let me just go. Okay. Okay, so I have like a 25% charge and I was clearly not prepared for this and uh, I'm worried that I'm gonna, uh, my battery is going to run out in between and I don't know where I get my 
Let me just quickly run and uh, try to find the lot. Uh, you know, it would be uh, weird if it runs out in between. But why did I keep my charger? And uh, unfortunately, my phone is connected uh, to the other uh, to the camera here. So this is uh, so tricky and embarrassing. But let me let me make a quick try. And if the game starts, I have to just run back and go back. I think I have connected my phone charger to a power bank, but I don't think the power bank is charged. But yeah, it is getting charged. But it's probably better if I connect it to a proper uh, electricity thing. So once again, we are good. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll try to figure it out after this game ends. The charge should hold on, I think, till that point. Cool. Okay, guys, right. let's get ready. We'll start in about one minute. Good. Uh, Simon, where do you want to start uh, the matches from the top? Up to you. You tell me. Okay, if you can start the bottom half, and I will start the top one. Okay. Here, okay. let me just message. Mm -hmm. I'm ready when you are. Yeah, my 20% will last for 4 hours in my new iPhone 13, but my old OnePlus 6, it might, I'm not even sure if it will last for this game. Hey guys, we are starting, good luck. Okay, so the game goes away. And uh, worst case, you know, if my charging runs out, I'll have to probably go off my camera on the stream and uh, uh, just focus on Zoom. By the way, is it, is it, uh... yeah, I don't, I don't have time to turn off those things.
Catalan against me. It's not a good move. But now he uh, has gotten himself into a not bad push. That's the thing about Catalan, it doesn't get bad so easily. Uh, hello, it didn't appear my game. Are you logged in? Yeah, yeah, I'm waiting. I'm in the live chess. I need to turn off. My, okay, uh, Goran, do you see him? Zoom. Ah, okay, okay. Now I have that. Now I have that. Zoom is off. And I lost all precious few seconds there. Not really better here. Now I might be. Need to focus. How do you focus when you are expecting a second camera battery to run out any moment? No. Now he's done. Prevented from moving this way uh, this night. Okay, let's focus. Night if I'm worried at 6, night G2. It was the first time that I'm actually thinking about the game in this game. Bishop C6 is just a kind of disturb this game. Now I can just take this. He'll have some root game on this. It should be annoying. I need to play B5 and this bishop is awkwardly stuck. I, do. I can't let him get P4. This is kind of expected. Half expected. And uh, now he'll take this move. King F7. Because the rook engine is just lost for him. He goes this. Let's see if I can go with D4. He can go with this rook to E1. Then I get B4 and bishop C6 potentially. Knight c5, bishop c6. Knight f4 is not bad. Rook d7 I prevent it. Now bishop c2 and this pawn runs all the way. I miss d6. I miss d6. Thankfully he didn't play D6 would have been in huge trouble there. I was not seeing a defense at all after D6. Just to keep this guy in just in case. Now I have a safe refuge on G6. Night be to okay. This is convenient. Check King G6 and yeah. So is it like just one? Uh, now do I accept the rematch or? Uh, hi. Uh, so uh, do I accept the rematch after the first game? Just accept. Uh, yes, yeah. Yeah. Thanks.
totally not expecting to be in the knockouts and the now i'm asking all more questions Okay, I, can. I don't want to damage my structure here. This is a nice edge. I'm the one who's nervous in this game. So two questions guys, what's the format and uh, am I supposed to keep streaming through this? I don't mind actually, I, I want to keep streaming but uh, ooh. so first what's the format, second uh, Oh, I have 27%, so charge is increasing. My power bank is working. Yes, Rushul, thank you for the games. See you next week. Bye-bye. Yeah, that was Rushul, I guess. I have the zoom uh, volume on uh, GG's, GG's Rushul. That was a good fight, by the way. Uh, you almost had me in the first game. What you're flying? Are you are you like are you the pilot of the flight uh, or are you like a passenger? What are you doing in on, on a flight, Gurki? So it's two games, all the games, is it? And uh, I think I thought this game I was in uh, major trouble. And my mouse is now dancing around. Yeah, this game it felt like I was in major trouble at one point when I missed the D6, but looks like Bishop F5 was the difference, okay. Is this the only no? Yeah, Bishop F is only saving and I didn't see Bishop F5 initially, so... Oh uh, no, it's, it's on charge, my phone is on charge and uh, it's on 27%, it was at 22, so that's good news and uh, if possible... Uh, I would uh, like to put it on battery saver mode, but I think it should be okay. Uh, all the preparation done for the floods, you know, uh, the power bank and everything. How much time is there for the next one? See, the thing is, I have my charger nearby, but I don't have any charging point that I can connect it to, and uh, the wire won't reach that long. And my extension box, it has my one computer and two monitors. I can switch off one uh, monitor, but I'm worried that I might turn off the wrong one, you know. And uh, that will also mess up my tournament. So, for now, let's just uh, try and uh, go for battery saver mode. I will keep you safe and sound after all this time. Yeah, I put it on the flight mode and uh, second camera is on. So, this is a good thing. And uh, let me just uh, remove all the background stuff. Sir, my first round finished. Yes, uh, Sundram, uh, four minutes break before the next round. Okay, mm -hmm. sir. So, should I leave this meeting or should I stay in the meeting? Stay in the meeting until the end. Thank you. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. Anirudh, you are free to go. Thank you. I 
me do this free to go sir can i off my camera until second round yes but please remember to turn it on okay sir thank you sundaram kumar where do you where do you get all this information and uh, i have a class tomorrow morning i pay sleep why do they keep these tournaments at 11:30 pm should we do a change.org with signatures would you guys sign it if we uh, ask for the games to have happen at a humane indian time I can't postpone the class. I'm not a student. I'm a teacher. With teacher, you have more responsibility. Okay, guys, we'll have a four minutes break before the next game. Okay, four minutes break. So that's like, ah, uh, uh, let's do a change or do a jiga yeah? petition. So of course, I'm muted on Zoom. If I was not muted on Zoom, people would be like, shut up. Uh, in a more colorful way, it won't. Uh, there will be something between shut and up, some words between that. Yeah, because of daylight savings time, and I never intended to qualify, guys. I wanted to just play for fun. I didn't think I would be qualifying, and the tournament will go past one thirty and all. So that was a very unfortunate happening uh, in my uh, day to day. Sad, sad, and you do do sad. But congratulations on qualifying, guys. We cannot shift the class. We cannot uh, commitment given is commitment given, no matter what. So just have to sleep after the class. Yeah, I shouldn't have made all those. But even if I hadn't made those draws, I think I would have gotten in. So why don't we check the parents, by the way? Pairing. Where can we check the pairing? I don't know. I want to just close my eyes and sleep. Do that. And uh, maybe you guys can watch me stream, sleeping stream. I have heard that Ludwig does that on Twitch. He just sleeps and people watch him sleep for eight hours. He sleeps twenty-four hours. So he streams twenty-four hours. Would that work? No. Not one of these kids who understands the prestige and uh, the this the uh, magnitude of an arena king's knockout. It's a. Uh, it's not one of these. Um, okay, let me not reveal too much information. But arena kings will be like what arena kings? Who cares, dude? Yeah, my non-existent biceps. It's not there on chess.com inbox for sure. Cool. The game is over. Next game is about to start. So. Yeah. I see Jabawa dancing on uh, Zoom. <laughs> He's a uh, Arena King uh, knockout regular. Right? I don't see Hikaru on this. I guess that's because he streams at two times, right? which is clever, by the way. And uh, let's do a quick back to check if we win. We have 32 percent still on charge, so all good guys. So.
can be the angle can be a bit too. Sundram, can you please bring your camera on? Sundram, string up. Okay, thank you. Oh. Ah, string up, I see, okay. So we are starting the next round. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. And let's begin. Sundaram Nam to Sunamuka. 2137. Dutch defense. Let's take on the Dutch. Now I'll turn into the low. I didn't mind this so much. Badur, the games have started. And uh, maybe I want to get some F3 in the future. Uh, I would like to be able to activate this mission. So, how should we do that? Haven't yet cancelled. Kind of on purpose. I don't mind allowing the screen if I check. King F1. Yeah, this has shifted. We'll do Queen if I check now. Or does he want Queen H4 check? Queen H4 check, maybe G3, Knight G3, Queen F2, Queen B4 check, Bishop D2, Knight B2, Queen. Here the idea was King F1. And uh, should, should be okay. Knight C5, Bishop D2, Queen rather than Queen B6, Queen D1. Ah, he goes to G5. I just play H4 and then you have F7. Knight F7, Bishop D2. Ah, this gives us a good one. Potentially to open land and use that one. Make it right. 18 of those. I'm in the cave. I gotta make some light. Make it hype. Even if we break at night. And even if things go left, we gotta make them right. Chill up with mine. We triple up. They on the double up. Triple dub. Came from the basement. We only going up. They loving us. Up in the booth. I'm getting dizzy. But they the cup is up. Toast to my people. That's when they come up. Make you live with us. Ain't all about the trick of bus. Looking at my watches. Spirit of all my fans is going up. We going coast to coast with us. See the flows is flowing over. Flowing near the cup. It run it over. Take the wave up in the ocean. Well, I here. Maybe I can play e4. I open this bishop up and I secure this bishop. Downside is I block this queen, but uh, I don't mind that. Queen into field is actually a threat, and it was possible to play this. Must have it. Would have been a pretty tactic. Looks good. Let's see how he defends this piece. Playing this a bit uh, unnaturally slow. The idea. I mean, the same thing. Not at present. But in this case, we should be good and take this. He gives up the screen. Okay. Thanks. Now rematch here. Yeah? It's two games, right? Take 
लॉन्ग Bit long time, but should be manageable. Takes, takes, takes everything. It's very good. Queen C2, I think, should be defended with G6 comfortably. First of all, it's not threat. There's no move, which I initially thought it was. You know, two, two A and stuff. Maybe he wants to go some knight g4. So I'll just mix the number. Although I would have liked to keep my bishop to be honest, but I just want some rook c8. Okay, the draw I I win the match right one and a half. Huh? We just want some rating points, or it. dude. It's two a.m. I, uh, I, I don't mind making a draw, and getting some rest. Ah, how many games is it? Uh, I'm sorry. How how many games is it? Uh, best of three. So first who gets to two points wins. Ah, okay. So Thank if you. you can just rematch once more. Okay, I thought it was over. I thought it was just two games. This time, so he doesn't get a second. Let us, let us come to the second. 
ಸರಿ ಹೇಳೋದಾಗ್ತದೆ dangerous need to be a bit careful f2 is well uh, hello thank you for the uh, tournament see you thank you jan karan see you thank you see you bye oh damn how could i miss that still not we need to right Uh, thanks for organization see you thank you muhammad bhai i need to be careful in this game i need to i'm going to the time breaker yeah this is a good move by bishop c1 no? and i lost me ಬಿಷಪ್ ಜಿ ಫೋರ್ good spirit by now and it's a good move yes what i expected not take this it's the first time of today need to just uh, play fast you can have big bad think he will lower uh, ah he has 92 just need to play fast and so on
ました。Okay, that got unnecessarily tense, but thank you, Sundram. You can leave the call. <sighs> that was so 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 unnecessary. He got a bit panicked towards the end, but okay, uh, credit to him. He uh, really pushed me. He really tested me. And thank you so much, sir. Bye bye. Bye bye. जी 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 सुन रहा अभी तो नाम सुन सुन लिया हाँ जबावा जबा इज जस्ट डांस इन एंड टू वी विल हैव अ फोर मिनट ब्रेक एंड देन द फर्स्ट मैच विल बी हिकारो अगेंस्ट मीन एंड यू श्रीनाथ विल प्ले आफ्टर दे फिनिश देयर ओन मैच यू विल प्ले अगेंस्ट बादल सो इट विल बी वन मैच एट अ टाइम ओके ओके and how many okay. games in total uh also three game best of three in the semi final and okay. final is best of five thank you okay okay i'm screwed man i have to wait and uh, three games of uh three games here and uh, then if i go to the final five games yeah I was so not ready for uh, streaming till 3 a.m. Ridiculous. I, 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 if I could uh, withdraw right now, I would. It's so. Uh, it's so tiring, and uh, I mean, I was tired at the start of the stream, only. but okay, now that we are here, when uh, it starts, we'll just uh, try and give our best. Let's uh, see when the Hikaru game starts. but uh, yeah in general uh, <sighs> man wildly popular arena things season 8 all the information so i hope there's no place for uh, the third place right no match for the third place in case uh, i lose the semis So if I call, uh, if I sleep at three and I wake up at ten, I'll still have seven hours of sleep. Should be okay. Oh yeah, uh, of course, always appreciation for the viewers and uh, thank you so much for staying through. Do hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and uh, you guys are amazing. I I I I mention this in every stream of my every uh, single stream. So. <sighs> Yeah, if if I can uh, substitute Nihal with me, that would also be nice. Is that possible? Can you call Rakesh? Dosa, batters don't need sleep. Human beings need it. Okay, okay, guys. I'm not going to withdraw. I was just joking. I was just saying that you know, uh, priorities. priorities for uh, the night and uh, tomorrow morning arena kings title tuesday these tournaments are in general uh, not that important you know magnus thank you so much thank you so much man um so the uh, people have been asking for an important lines uh, update uh, on the catalan course and uh, i'm i'm working on chessable stuff uh, this month so apart from my uh, coaching and uh, apart from my uh, so there's coaching and there's uh, streaming it takes like about uh, uh, a few hours both these things and then i dedicate between 2 uh, to 4 hours for my chessable work and course work so it's usually uh, a work day between 8 to 12 hours depending on how much energy i have and uh, i'm working on some 
uh, chessable related things once i finish that i'll try to add the important lines in my course and uh, uh, after that maybe a new course let's see <laughs> ashish shinde it comes naturally and spontaneously yeah Don't worry, Anshika. There is more than enough for those things to happen. So, don't worry. You can uh, keep your surname for a pretty long time. You don't have to change it. And uh, my phone battery also reached uh, something like forty percent. So even if it, even if it stops charging, I'll have enough for the rest of the night. Is Arena King this kind of fun? Though? Who is Nihal's current coach? Well, uh, I I am his current coach, but uh, he also works in the Westbridge Anand Academy with uh, the coaches there, and um, he calls game a startup. So let's get there. It's been going on for a while actually. He calls against wonderful time as well. Very interesting because. Uh, Both these guys are uh, really good, about three thousand, and really fast. And uh, I'm just talking nonsense. Catlan against Hikar. Then well, let's see for face Hikar. Yeah, Rubdi to Zora is good. Let's try to get the moves of these guys. Uh, how fast these guys are playing? Though? Let's see to Rubdi to. Black is completely okay. It's completely uh, equal here. And uh, Queen F4. Uh, yes, those are good. Uh, with locks also, many times I turn it either way. Yeah, Queen F4, B5, A3 immediately. That's what we were anticipating. B5. And uh, now it is E5, Queen B7. So maybe. No, ninety four, ninety four. I was thinking is possible, but okay, ninety four just uh, it's terrible. Uh, just allowing black to go in. Rook D six is good. Games a bit more uh, control. Rook C four, E four. This feels a bit shaky. What if knight C five now? Rook D eight check. King F seven. Yeah, I think knight C five is an option. And. Uh, Knight f8 is a uh, typical blitz move. You just want to save everything. Knight e5, rook c7, yes, and rook d8 potentially. Um, g4. It's keeping up the pressure. It's really putting it on the card. Counter play. It's trying to get the b2 pawn and uh, kind of asking the uh, so rook d2. I guess just keep everything safe. Uh, Raja was Instagram. I'll see later. No, as it is, I'm uh, my uh, brain is assaulted. Link for what? Ah, no, I don't think so. I don't think he's asking for link. I'll check tomorrow. Right now, I'm worried about uh, other things. B seven. Because if I was in a Karo situation, I would uh, really panic. I would miss them, especially against Nilay. And uh, G five looks good, opening up the H five. G five, he wants knight H five. So suddenly he's not uh, knight C four looks good. I like knight C four knight D six. But now I don't think he has an option. G three was a bit uh, too slow. E5, knight C5, and uh, now he got his actual rating a bit, and his position has also improved. He's no longer under pressure. Knight B3 he missed, he missed knight, but he has knight D6, and uh, rook C1 check, rook D1, yeah, knight D4, G G1, queen D4, yeah, okay, so. And, uh, 
yeah this is lost and now there's no way he could have got the result that was that was nice by Hikaru he really turned it on at the right moment and now he's totally in it this queen should be fine queen of 6 check isn't really good more than anyone oh you don't have spring Hikaru Ashish, uh, these things, if it were so simple, Nubair would have figured it out, no? Yeah, this is trademark, uh, leamingly open. Should I uh, prepare a bit against... So if, if it was the old uh, pre-streaming days, I would have probably been uh, preparing a bit against the uh, Jabawa here, you know, checking the Jabawa London and stuff. But uh, Pushkar, I uh, don't feel like playing, you know, I feel like uh, just doing time pass. I don't know, I don't know what happened to Rana, right? I'm uh, not Shrikant Tiwari, I'm just Srinath Narayana, you have mistaken uh, me for. He has mistaken me for someone who knows everything. But, uh, you are really mistaken. Yeah, I I, I took uh, Jospin's place. Yeah, I guess he didn't play today. Today was perhaps not such a strong arena game. Ah, Jabbar also wants to chill. He's dancing in a stream right now. So we are chilling by mutual consent. And uh, when you reach the semi-final, you are allowed to do that. You you can chill and play whenever you feel like, and they will wait for you. So generally, a tournament organizers and arbiter will tell when you will play, and then you will play. But if you have reached the semi-final, then you tell them when you want to play and then they will watch when you play. So that's how life changes when you move up the ladder, you know. Hikaru is a nice pusher. I like, I like his uh, pusher. Uh, with black, it, it feels uh, very tough. He doesn't have moves and Hikaru will just go for the win. He won't uh, be happy with a draw. Dance off. 96 is a threat in case you guys did not notice. But you may have. Yeah, there is some prize money for the third fourth finish but i don't know how much i didn't see the price point guys i never intended to be in the knock knockouts it's like i'm, a, I'm an imposter i i i thought I, I play for fun every week you know and i never play with intention to with like you know serious intentions to finish at the top although to be honest i feel that i'm probably strong enough to uh, finish decently in this arena kings and stuff and uh, title tuesday maybe if i don't stream i can finish at the top more consistently but who cares about these tournaments right? it's, it's 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 fun it's fun for streaming but uh, eventually you know uh, it's it's not such a serious tournament so g6 queen x7 look g7 queen h8 check is there Yeah, and now just take this. This knight comes to f6. Uh, he doesn't allow it. Bishop c5 is queen d5. 
so what does the server do? Maybe just bring the root to GQ. Um, Bishop b6 and root g4 is an option. Bishop c5. Bishop c5, queen d5, knight e4. Okay, knight e4 I initially missed. Maybe this is also what wonderful time missed. So in that case, that makes sense. So queen d2. Now rook a1. Just take it all the way. B saves. Rook f1, I, I didn't want to allow bishop g2, bishop f1, something related to this. I thought rook a1 was safer. Go long, like uh, Ross told Rachel. That is exactly my point, Ashish. I'm saying Arena Kings is not important. You're like, why is Arena Kings important? Next, knight a6 is coming, knight g7 is made. GG, design. Will I stream uh, Nihal vs Richard Rakut? I might. It depends on the schedule. Things are uh, busier in uh, 2021 compared to 2020. It's a lot busier. So, last year, uh, when I was streaming SEC, I was just streaming SEC. I was doing nothing else. But uh, this year, a lot many things are coming. Okay, so I think it's time for my game. Hikaru has gone into 3200. So when does my game start now? Uh, Rinat Badur, your game is starting now. Good luck. Thank you. I've gotten a bit worse here already. Okay. I've gotten a bit worse, but uh, game on. If I go C4, what does he want? Bishop C3 has Bishop F5 and if you please Bishop E6, C D, Bishop F7, Bishop F7. That was a bit of a lucky break, but let's see. Yeah, I mean, we are also catching a good time. Does this work for sure? We should be 7 CD. What if he takes 9 and F7? That's probably what he's looking at. And if I play BA1, then he takes some check. Uh, King H8, Knight D6, let's say. King H8. And uh, I'll be able to take Queen D6 back. So, Bishop E6, CB2, Knight F7, BA1. Knight H6 check, uh, King H8. That should be okay. And uh, apart from that, uh, what can you do? This is what I was looking at. BA1, what does he want to do? I 
I don't think he saw this. Looking at the reaction. And I just check and here the idea is being educated. Need one out of two. Okay, this is similar to what one of my other opponents played, Kushil Shah. Is this something to watch? You can just play h3, yeah? Queen f6, hg4, takes everything, knight d5. First queen of six and knight of three or less. He has bishop of 3 though. but takes takes knight of 3, king of 1, knight e1, king e1 should be okay. King has stabilized the bit. This shouldn't be a drop. Now he gets into five. Takes. This feels a bit uh, scary for him. The take. He takes. Now his mind function not in it. Bishop f6 and queen c6 is an option. And e5 takes bishop c6 is an option. And I go. I'll just take bishop f6 and queen c6. e5 is just too risky. So, a good position, a bit low on time. That is not being allowed for the moment. Looking for things that I can't control. Live from my past, cause it always shows. Do I wanna try? Can I let it go? Running from the past, wanting to be sure. Chaos in my mind, constant deja vu. Clever. But every time it comes back to you. Whoa, I'm still falling. I blend on a Oh, 
and uh, next he wants to get uh, on to b3 okay I didn't know this was losing, but he will okay. I to get the king to safety here. Probably want some bishop e3, bishop d4. Just get this first. But it tastes better sweet. Oh, I keep on falling. Oh, but I'm sure I can taste of it. Oh, I'm still falling. Oh, we need four minutes. But it tastes better sweet. Oh, I keep on falling. Oh, I like the taste of it. For the moment, it's on the Then I take on a1, queen g8, and then let's see. Yeah, till the right side. Now the idea was rook b1, queen f7, king d6, but I don't think that works anymore. Can play f6. Now I draw. This is 9G for sure. 9G is bad. So E6 was always not an option. No, he doesn't have to repeat all this. I'm not sure if he has any options. Maybe he wants to finish it off now. What? But how does he continue? Okay, so how does it work? Uh, we will have a tie break game, 1 plus 1, tank control, and whoever wins the first will be uh, moving to the final. So if the game is drawn, just rematch and play until we have any winner, okay? Srinat? Okay, thank you. Okay, starting now, good luck. Uh, we have to do one plus one, yes? It will be one plus one. So I'm starting right. with one now. Right. Yeah.
trying to get some thing on the green side. Yeah, take the green. Sure, not sure if they go the fly station from. Now I'm on the defensive side. That was interesting. Ah, I missed this. Open up your eyes till you're blinded by the lights. So you can 
Going on, but I think I lost them. But okay, that was a good fight. That was uh, thank you, Srinath. Good games. See you next week. Thank you. Yeah, it was. It was just. I think. I think I was out playing him in all the games, you know, and uh, it it just felt like that. Oh, this actually didn't. Ah, okay. Rookie one. I. This was just not working for that. But uh, this playing at three a.m. is just uh, too much. It's too unpleasant. And uh, I think I had uh, chances in the previous game as well, which was interesting. Yeah, if I had won this, it would have gone for. It 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 felt it felt better all to this question, but maybe I was uh, being a bit too optimistic. I couldn't find a way to break him, but I think he he was also far from his best. You know, we were just blending black and forth, back and forth, and back and forth. And uh, here I had some real chances. I should have gone to him, but I uh, and I I really shouldn't have lost this second game. This was better for me all through uh, as well, I guess. Yeah, I, I'm slow. Of course, I'm slow compared to Hikaru. I have no more clues to the amount of factors that uh, those guys have, and they are really strong. Yeah, I should have just won this game. This would have solved everything. He was also on the pitch, so. This was the, the this was what I had to take. Yeah, this was a good week, and hopefully the next week will be better, and I'll be more mentally prepared to play the T or T or T. Thank you so much, guys, for uh, staying through, all of you, being awake all through the night, and uh, towards the end it was completely low energy from me, but you guys still st stuck through. So thank you so much. And uh, see you guys next week for this. In between, there will be uh, some streams in uh, between of or as well. I'm not going to abandon you guys like uh, I did in between, where there was like no streams at all. So I'll definitely do some something in between. I I don't know what though. Uh, there will also be a video coming out on Catalan pretty soon, but probably not on my channel. I'll uh, put it on my social media channels when it comes out. So be sure to be uh, watching me on uh, my uh, Twitter and Instagram. Yes, I should really, really go to sleep now. It's three p three a.m. and uh, uh, I won't be able to sleep immediately. Immediately as well after such a long stream. But okay, uh, let's try. Let's try to sleep. I'll uh, I'll get like six hours of sleep for tomorrow. All right, guys. Thank you so much for sticking through, and uh, see you guys soon. Love you all. Bye bye.